Merry Christmas, friend! But it's not Christmas. Well, we're going to make it Christmas with three yard quilts. Oh. Keep watching. Hi, it's Donna Robertson. And Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe. Are we excited? We have a new book for you and it's called Make It Christmas with Three Yard Quilts. And we have beautiful new fabrics and beautiful yeah. new quilt patterns yes. that you are going to adore. So let's get started. Yes. Okay, the first one is called Bobbles. And I had so much fun designing this one. It, it, I, would, I just got the vision in my head of the ornaments hanging in the trees and uh, came up with this one. It's been a lot of fun to design and it's going to be so much fun to make. So let's put that up here and look at this great fabric. Now we're using the um, grunge from Moda. Mm -hmm. So it is a gorgeous, gorgeous fabric and it has the gold. I <gasps> um, love it. The little gold printing on yes. it to make the ornaments kind of sparkle and shine. I wonder if it would actually shine if you shined a light on it. Oh, I don't know. Let's mm -hmm. set it next to the tree this year and find <laughs> out. <laughs> it would be adorable with um, little ribbons tied up here, I think. Oh. And if you'll hand me the cropper, I'll show Ooh. them how to crop yes. out this block. Because this is a multi-piece block that you're going to be doing. But I think you're going to see how quick and easy it goes together like any of our other blocks. You're just going to start off by making a snowball. So there's our snowball right there. Oh, super simple. Super simple. Yes. And then we're going to end up sashing that right after we make a strip piece mm -hmm. like this. Very simple. Super simple, long strip piece, yeah. cut it into units and attach that to that. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put these sashing strips on the side. Oh. And voila, you've got your block. Perfect ornament. Isn't that cool? Love it. And you know what? Can I mention something? Yes. This quilt has the most adorable quilting on it. Um, Lucinda outdid herself. Can we show oh, that? Oh, absolutely. It is. Does it show? So Ooh. cute. It's kind of hard to see on the the um, the this on the particular bag. fabric. But if you'll look right here, you can see some of the ornaments here. It is just so precious. It is. I like that. Okay, let's flip through the fabric so you can get an up close and personal with that. So we have the red with the gold stars. That's going to be your fabric number one. Then it's going to go in every other uh, ornament because you see we've got greens and reds. And it's going to also alternate in the rectangular four patch that we did. Now the number two is the background for the ornaments so that they'll really pop uh -huh. off of the surface of the quilt. And then the number three is the alternate ornament oh, and it's also the alternate block. Now this one is called Shimmer and Shine 8022178. The name of the pattern in the brand new book Make It Christmas is called Bobbles. If you uh, want an alternate pattern, we recommend the chain reaction pattern, which also uses the snowball. It's yeah. just not going to be an ornament. So those are your two choices. Yeah. You know, I think the Bobbles quilt would also be a darling wall hanging if yes. you wanted to use it that way. I think it would be really a great one to hang up during the season. Absolutely. So, Fran, show us what you designed. So our next new, brand new pattern for the Make It Christmas book is called Evergreen. And we've done it in these really fun kind of woodland batiks, which I really like. And we have just a simple half square triangle blocks put together to create the tree and then just a fun nine patch. So let's check that out. I really like that tree. It looks like it's going to be pretty easy to make. It is truly, truly easy. And if we could get the cropping tool okay. again, I can definitely show that. So we're, we start with our tree base as being just a simple half square triangle. Look at that. And you can see that right here. And then we've made units where we've taken a simple block, added it to the side, and then another half square triangle turned to create the base. Now each unit is slightly different mm -hmm, and you that. can see here that they're just half square triangles. Let me do this right here. Half square triangle, another rectangle block, a half square triangle, and a couple of small rectangles on the edges. So each one done very similarly and very simple. You put those together and it just makes it such a cute tree. I now, love it. Let's talk about this fabric, and I love this fabric. 
because our number one focus fabric has a beautiful gold on it. And I think the gold actually kind of looks like it's in a forest. A I think so bit. too. Yes, absolutely. It's really fun. And of course, this fabric will be the trees as well as in the border. And then our number two fabric, so fun. Love those stars. Stars, and this is that great metallic again. The stars are in there. And I kind of, I know it's not snow, but to me it kind of reads like snowflakes in the woods. Oh, so I kind of like that. Idea. <laughs> and then of course our number three is this beautiful red that creates the nice pop for our nine patch. And that looks like ornaments. It kind of does, or jingle bells <laughs> or something like oh, that. Oh, jingle bells, yeah. I love, <laughs> it. love it. So this quilt, kit is number 8022179. It is called Wintergreen Forest and the pattern is evergreen and our Make It Christmas with Three Yard Quilt Book. And the alternate, alternate pattern that we are recommending is Christmas Forest. How fun all those great trees are. And now for the young and young at heart are all of our favorite things. I mean, you know, Christmas time, you got to bake some cookies and you're going to do some special projects. So you've got some thread and buttons and tape measure and the strawberry pin cushion. I mean, I just love all of these favorite things. This one is so cute and it is so fast. You know, I always like to give you a super fast quilt to put together and favorite things is going to be that one in this book. So let's put that up here. I can and smell the gingerbread now. I know, <laughs> I know. And you know, remember decorating the little gingerbread cookies when oh, they come out of the so oven. Fun. So you can use those uh, little candies for the buttons yes. and all of that. Yes. A little frosting. <laughs> now I wanted to show you the book. This is so such a beautiful book. It has a lot of color in it and it really does play up with your uh, color picture, explaining your fabrics one, two, and three. And then over here, we've got our legend. So whenever you're looking at your fabric, you always put your focus fabric in the number one spot. Your number two spot is your lightest remaining, and your number three is the darkest remaining. And don't forget, we've got those twin and king queen yes. sizes in there as well. Let's talk about the fabric. So this is our number one fabric. It's going to go in the number one spot. And this is a great one whenever you have all these beautiful Christmas fabrics that you yes. like to use, you can actually use two focus fabrics. Perfect. So, and that's what Christmas is all about. Just lots of beautiful things. Now the background fabric is this creamy color. And that is gonna go in the background, which becomes the, uh, the background for the colors to make them pop. Right. So you're going to love it whenever you put the number three in the number three spot. And like I said, it's a super simple block to do. You can make this very, very quickly. Now, one thing about this fabric, uh -huh. we understand it is on its way. It is oh. speeding its way to us. So <laughs> if you watch the video and you go over there and see that it says um, out of stock, but if you click on there, we'll send you an email the instant it comes in. We'll make sure that you know that's available. So it should be here any day. Perfect. Now, this Perfect. one is called Gingerbread 8022180. Its favorite things is the name of the pattern, and Make It Christmas is the book. An alternate pattern would be Dash. So our next quilt here is called Fireside. And this one is a super quick and fun quilt. I put it together with only squares, which I know that a lot of you like because it does make it really simple. Nice big block here to really show off that beautiful Christmas print, and then just some bordered blocks that we have alternated with it that goes really quick. And I did this because I kind of thought it looked like a hearth on a fireplace, which is how it got its name. So let's look at those fabrics. I, you know, Christmas is the one time that the traditional fabrics and colors and everything really speaks to me. Yes. And I know that this is one of them that I just absolutely love. And I thought it worked up perfectly into this quilt pattern. Now, of course, our number one fabric is just beautiful in this large square and then a small border here. And it's just got all this wonderful gold on it and the reds and the greens and the whites, it's gorgeous. And then our number two fabric, isn't this fun? It's a white with a gold swirl and snowflake. And that goes into these areas here. 
And then our number three fabric is this great red. Now this red is a little bit like a stripe. And mm -hmm. as you can see how perfectly it works on the borders of these blocks. I love putting stripes on the borders of I blocks. Too. I just think it's so fun. Now this one is a little more subtle, but it is still a stripe and it's perfect. I just love it. So the fabric kit information for this one is Christmas Splendor. And the number is 8022181. The quilt is called Fireside, which is only available in the brand new book, Make It Christmas. So we are giving you an alternate of picture perfect. So the next quilt is called Garland. And I named this one Garland because I thought this looked like peppermints on a string, which is something that you would probably put around your tree or even string on your fireplace. So that's kind of how it got its name. And it's such a fun, fun quilt. And this has some beautiful fabric too. Let's look at that. I chose this joy fabric. I love that. Which is really great because it, goes into the pinwheels here and then on our alternate block here. And it's the beautiful golds. And I just love that it reminds us mm -hmm. of all of the feelings that we feel during the Christmas time. So I just, I love that. Then our number two fabric is this beautiful off-white with the gold swirls on it. And of course it's on our alternate block here as well as our pinwheels. And then our number three fabric, this gorgeous holly on the black. Now this is also outlined in gold. I just love all these fabrics with the gold on it. I think they're perfect for the holiday mm -hmm. season. Really so, makes it sparkle and shine. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course that number three fabric is bordering those blocks and in the center here. And it just gives it that nice string of peppermints. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's a great name for that one. So this kit is called Holiday Tinsel. And the number is 8022182. The name of the pattern is Garland. And we are suggesting the gallery quilt as its alternate. That's great. Now, I know Fran's been talking about all the gold, but how about a little bit of silver also? So I've designed this one, and it's called Traditions. And it has the silver accent and even has the same joy fabric that Fran used in the gold. And I thought it was perfect for these cardinals. Just love, love, love this one. This is striking. Mm -hmm. I it love is. the black and the red. And it's, it's oh. a little bit, it's called traditions. It's a little bit more, has that traditional feel mm -hmm. of the old fashioned patchwork and all. I love so, it. Um, and you know, mm -hmm. I think this would be an excellent quilt to make larger. And our book does include all of the instructions for the twin and the king queen sizes. And this one would really be a gorgeous this spread would be for a Christmas. Fantastic king queen, wouldn't it? it? Really, really I love would. it. And this gorgeous fabric with the silver accents starts off with the cardinal. And I love seeing the cardinals whenever we get snow and we see they're they're usually out there and you can see them scratching around and looking <laughs> for those berries, etc. Now we've got a sashed block here and then we have a star block here. And again, this is amazingly easy to make. Mm -hmm. We just step it out for you step by step. Your number one fabric is your cardinals and the that's going to go in your largest and it's also part of the accent here. The number two fabric is the silver joy and that's going to go as your background so that the other um, colors will just pop off the surface of the quilt. The number three fabric is the red. It's going to be your uh, sashing on the large block. It's also going to be accent colors and the border. So this beautiful fabric, the kit is called Cardinal Grandeur. It is with the traditions pattern from the Make It Christmas. And then of course, we always give you an alternate because you get one free pattern with every one of the quilt kits that you purchase, or you can skip that, those patterns and you can request the book instead by writing in the comments and say, I want to make it Christmas. <laughs> so we will give you the book instead. Now the next one that we have for you is called Twinkles. And Twinkles is another one that I did. And I had so much fun when I designed this book, this uh, block here. I, I was just kind of playing around with my graph paper and came up with that concept. And then we decided it looked like it was twinkling. We're back to gold again because this has some gold accents in it. Okay, so I want to ask a question. Uh -huh. So I know 
that this is called twinkles. Are you sure it's not whenever Bob gives you a sweet kiss under the mistletoe <laughs> and his eye goes ding? <laughs> if you watch last year's Christmas video, you'll know what she's talking about. And if you didn't watch it, you want to do that. <laughs> okay, so this is the uh, poinsettia fabric going in the number one uh, position, and this is a nice big block. And then we've got our uh, creamy color in the background here that's going to really cause the um, block, the colors to pop off of this. And I really like that. It also is a sashing on the quilt and then a nice big border with the poinsettias as, as well as this. This is another one that would look great on a king size bed. Oh, it absolutely yeah. would. And you know, this is really easy to do. This is actually just made with half square triangles, right? Mm -hmm. Would you like for me to block that I out? I would. I okay. think that would be show you how super easy it is to make this. Because it looks like one. a kind of an interesting, complicated block there, and it's not the it's way you. It's a nine patch. Oh yes, okay. it is a nine patch. <laughs> so Love that. you've got three sections that you're going to make, just like uh -huh. you do with a nine patch. You've got number one. You've got number two, which is, oh, let me find my seam another. line. It's just another half square triangle. And then a third half square. So you make these half square triangles and you make this one section with three half square triangles. So easy. Mm -hmm. Now the second one is made similarly, but you put a solid block in the middle. Yeah. And then the third one is made the same way, only they are turned a little bit different. So it is actually a nine patch made with some half square triangles. I love it because it, cool. it really does look a lot more complicated than it is. Oh, all of our patterns we simplify with lots of great diagrams. So if you were to come over here and look at this, you can see how you've got your different uh, blocks done. We even separate them so you can see where we're sewing them together and then after you put those together, we explain to you which sides you put it on and then what it looks like when it's a finished block. And it's just, it's just amazing. Very it's like doing a complicated uh, pattern with instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Not so complicated. Good instructions. <laughs> now this is another one that's speeding its way to oh. us and uh, you will be able to get notification as soon as this fabric arrives. It's probably on the same vehicle with the last one that we showed because they're both fabrics that we ordered. And you know, it is kind of early, so Santa and his little elves have been busy <laughs> making fabric for us, but it's not quite here yet. So just visit Fabric Cafe and search on the kit number, which is 8022184, Joyful Poinsettias. Twinkles is the name of the pattern in the book, and you can get the book free when you buy three kits, or if you want one kit, we will give you the alternate pattern, which is courtyard. Oh, perfect. Now, I think everybody needs to bundle up nice and warm because our next quilt has snow flurries on it. And this is in your future. This will be the forecast for quilting. <laughs> this quilt is called Wonderland. And this is one of those quilts that kind of tricks your eye a little bit because it's a very, very simple block that is made over and over again, and it's simply rotated to create this little pinwheel right here. So let's check that out and I'll get the cropping tool too. So this is made with beautiful blues and whites and silvers, and I just think it looks like a wonderland of fun. It does. <laughs> so, and this is so cool because the block is actually a very, very simple block. So I love the way that you showed us the twinkles that we just looked at. This one is also very similar. So we simply have a nice big rectangle here, and this is our number one fabric. And then we have a half square triangle here, which incorporates the number one fabric as well. And then we have our number three fabric as a rectangle in the other part of our half square triangle. Now this is simply just made again in a different color. So I'm gonna shift the cropping tool down just a little bit, and you can see here is that same block just made with our number two and our number three fabric. And we're that just is cool. alternating and rotating and it gives us that great look that looks way more complicated than it really, really is. And it did fool my eye because I thought maybe you had made the uh, pinwheel right down here. Mm -hmm. It looked like you had made a pinwheel block, but you didn't actually do that. They're different blocks and when you put them together, voila. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> That's great.
<laughs> so it's really quite fun. So let's look at the quilt kit for that. So as I mentioned before, our number one fabric, which is a little unusual, is our darkest fabric of the three, but that's okay. This is our beautiful focus, and of course it goes in all of the blocks and the pinwheels. Now we take the focus fabric, which is our number one, out of the equation, and we compare the remaining two fabrics. The lightest is our number two fabric, and that is used in the blocks, the borders, and the pinwheels as well. And then our number three is the darkest of the two remaining, and it is also in the blocks here. So I think it is just a gorgeous, fun, fun snowflakes. Mm -hmm. It makes me want to bundle up and get some hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> we still have to get through summer. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was winter. It's got to be Christmas. It's Christmas at Fabric Cafe today. That's right. And you can make it Christmas at your house, too. That's right. So the quilt number and name for this one is Silver Bells. The number is 8022185. The pattern is called Wonderland, only available in the brand new book, Make It Christmas. And we are recommending an alternative pattern as a pinwheel plus one. And this has been a true joy doing this book with you. I know we've had lots of fun yes. with all of the Christmas quilts, kind of something a little different for us, and it was a blast. I'm very excited to share this with you. Thank you, and I feel the same way. So if you've enjoyed our video, we certainly hope that you will subscribe. Click on the little bell so you'll get notifications. Be sure and share with your friends as well. This is Fran Morgan. And Donna Robertson. Have a great day.